Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. This is Brad Being Chill. Today we're going to be unboxing these newer key lights. I think that's how you pronounce that. At the time I purchased this week, around November 18th, these were about $42 on Amazon. So if you're looking at them, do be aware that the price may fluctuate either higher or lower, but they probably should be around that price. Now I do believe that there's two of them and they are LED lights and they're supposed to be 5600 Kelvin. And I believe they've also included some filters in here as well. Now I also think that uh, they are USB powered, so you may need to pick up a USB brick like this so you can plug them into the wall if you're planning on doing that, or you can plug them into really probably any other USB brick you might have, like one that charges your phone. But I'm just going to set that aside for now. I think we'll need it, but we won't find out until I start opening this up. So right off the bat in the box here, you see the filters are going to be on top there. I'm gonna set those aside for now. And then you have the two key lights. Uh, they're very small, they're a lot lighter than I imagined, but as you can see, they are USB powered right here. And then you have an on off switch here and then an up and down arrow right there. So I think that's pretty much all that is to it. And then you can slide the filters out right here. This looks to be just like a regular clear filter, um, I guess to keep the light from kind of refracting on the camera a little bit. And then we have this same thing over here with the same same type deal. So there is two of them in here. You have your instruction manuals, blah, blah, blah. And it looks like these are going to come with tripods as well. So, you know, as you can see there, they're just kind of in there. And so I'm gonna open these up right quick. And then we'll just throw those right there. Now these legs definitely do feel pretty decent quality. They're made of plastic, not metal, but I will say that they do feel like higher quality legs than the legs that I have on my softbox lights, which I have another video on. I will post a link to it in the description if you wanna check those out as well. But we also have what appears to be some sort of a thing right here where you mount it to the legs. And then we have another one as well. Let's see if I can get that open. Throw that down there and then here we have another part of the tripod or actually this has a little bit of a grippy handle to it so I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it in like a selfie stick type of formation or not but we will find out very shortly so that's all there is in the box so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw that down here and then uh, bear with me here while I read the manual to kind of figure this out. Okay, so from what I can tell that these are just selfie sticks. So if you're not planning on using these on the go or somewhere where you would need to like have it out and hold it in front of you, then you're probably not even gonna really need these. So I'm just gonna set these aside because for my use case, we're not gonna be using those. But here we go, we have the legs and I do believe we have to connect this uh, this little mounting guy right here. There you go. Now you got the legs with that. And we'll take one of these. And the mounting hole right here is on the bottom. So I guess you'll want to screw that in. From what I can tell, this is a like ball joint, whatever you call it. Uh, so I think if we undo this guy right here in the front, yeah, we should be able to lift him up right there. And then we'll kind of screw that back down like so. Try to straighten that up a little bit. And so the legs. Even though I said they were good quality earlier, I'm a little confused here because there doesn't appear to be a way to get them to kind of stand up. I guess they kind of do. They don't really seem to lock into place. Um, so they're not terribly stable. I will say that. So that is a little disappointing because I thought they were going to be higher quality based on how they felt earlier, but that does not appear to be the case. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to set up one of these. So now that it's plugged in, you come over here and we'll have the the uh, little on off switch here. So 
let's turn it on like that as you can see it's pretty bright and then there's an up and a down arrow so I'm going to turn that up it does appear to be getting very bright and then I'm going to turn it down so you know that's pretty cool and then like I said it's it's adjustable uh, at the little thing here so you can get whatever angle you want and then these filters I talked about earlier uh, I'll put these on right here so we'll pull out the clear filter and this one feels a little bit harder than these ones these ones are a little more flexible but you do get two of each color so you get your reds your yellows and you get two blues so you can kind of pick so I'll just show you guys one of each real quick so here's the red one if you want to get some red light you can kind of shimmy that down in there it's not it's not the easiest thing in the world so you can do that and then if you want blue light filter you can just throw it on there like so and then if you want yellow light you can filter this as well so that'll give you kind of an idea and now I have a theory here that if you put two of them in here like blue and yellow uh, maybe we'll get what appears to be green so yeah you can mix and match these however you want and I think you can get whatever kind of color you're looking for now I am gonna set these up I'm gonna try to do my setup that I'm thinking I'm gonna put the light behind me right here kind of like some other people do like unbox therapy where he has a light on the wall behind him and then I might set up the other one on the desk somewhere so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put it behind me and see what it looks like on the wall so as you can see here this is kind of the look that I was going for where I have the light bouncing off the wall behind me creating an effect similar to what you see on unbox therapies videos however I have turned off my two main lights so you can kind of see how good that these can light up the wall in the complete dark because when I have my other lights on it kind of makes this not as noticeable now I do think that's going to improve whenever I get a new camera with a new lens that has you know a better aperture that can take in more light and you'll be able to see this a lot better and this is what they look like with my softbox lights turned on as you can tell they're not quite as noticeable however like I said I am going to be getting a better camera in the future right now I'm shooting on an iPhone X so it doesn't really handle all the different light sources very well but hopefully in the future I'll improve that. But if you did enjoy this content, make sure you smash that like button. And once again, I upload new videos every week, Monday through Friday. So if you like this content, make sure you subscribe and click that bell so you can stay up to date on all the latest tech news with me. i catch you guys in the next one. Peace.